हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ कैलकुलस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन एग्जांपल एंड बर्नॉलिज इन इक्वेलिटी सो द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज इफ ए एंड बी आर ए एंड बी आर पॉजिटिव रियल नंबर्स पॉजिटिव रियल नंबर्स ए एंड बी आर पॉजिटिव रियल नंबर देन देन वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए इंटू बी स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए बी इज लेस देन और इक्वल्स टू वन बाय टू टाइम्स ए प्लस बी स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ ए बी इज लेस देन और इक्वल्स टू वन बाय टू ऑफ ए प्लस बी दिस इज हियर ए एंड बी आर पॉजिटिव रियल नंबर एंड वी हैव टू शो दैट square root of ab is less than or equals to 1 by 2 times a plus b here we have given that a and b are both positive real numbers so a is greater than 0 and b is also greater than 0 so for that we have to prove that root ab is less equal 1 by 2 times a plus b so here a is positive real number b is positive real number so they must satisfy order property means one of them is less than than other and suppose a is less than b or b is less than a so if we consider this a is less than b because a and b are both positive numbers and if this a is less than b so suppose a and b are two numbers suppose 2 and 3 4 or 5 so one of them is greater than other so if we take here all the both the numbers are positive means greater than 0 and suppose a is less than b now this a is less than b implies this a square is again less than b square if we square square the positive number then this square of the positive number is again positive number so a square is less than b square similarly if we take the square root again if we use this as this a is less than b if we take the square root of a is again less than square root of b so a is less than b so root of a is again less than root b if you take the positive square root then then this a square root of a is less than square root of b we can rearrange this as square root of this a minus square root of b is less than 0 subtracting this square root of b on both sides of this equation we get root a minus root b is less than 0 so this root a minus root b is less than 0 means this subtraction is a negative number and if we take the square that is we square this negative number we know that the square of negative number is positive number so square root of a minus square root of b whole square is greater than 0 if we square the negative number here square root of a minus square root of b is less than 0 means this number is negative number and we know that the square of negative number is positive number so squaring this we get square root of a minus square root of b whole square is greater than 0 now we know that a minus b bracket square a minus b back bracket square is a square minus 2ab plus b square therefore we can <coughs> use square root of a square minus 2 times ab square root of a to square root of b plus b square that is square root of b square is greater than 0 this is by using the a minus b bracket square a minus b bracket square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square here a is equals to root a and b is equals to root b so using this we know that square root of a square is so square and root gets cancel so there is only a remains so minus 2 times root a into root b root ab plus square root of b square is b is greater than 0 and now we can rearrange this so just <coughs> just taking these two a plus b is greater than if we put this minus root ab root 2ab on this side just a second this a plus b is greater than 2 times root ab just adding 2 times root ab on both sides so plus root 2 times root ab minus root 2 times ab gets cancel so adding this to root 2 root ab to 0 we get a plus b is greater than this 2 times root ab now 
dividing both sides by 2 we get this a plus b is divided by 2 is greater than square root of a b or we can write it as this square root of a b is less than 1 by 2 times a plus b whenever our a and b are different numbers then one of them is less than other and one of them is greater than the other so we take a less than b so after taking that a less than b we can write the square root of a is less than square root of b so square root of a minus square root of b is a negative number less than 0 means negative number so we know that the square of any negative number suppose this subtraction is equals to minus 4 then square of minus 4 is 16 plus 16 so squaring of a negative number is a positive number so root a minus root b square is greater than 0 so add therefore using a minus b bracket square we get this and square root of a square so square and root gets cancelled so a minus 2 ab so sorry minus 2 times root ab plus again root and square gets cancelled greater than 0 using this inequality using this result we get this now here just adding 2 times root a b on both sides we get this so hence we get square root of a b is less than 1 by 2 times a plus b this is for a not equals to b now this equality holds for a and if a and b are equal now thus the inequality holds whenever the our a is not equals to b that is a is either less than b or b is either less than a then this inequality holds now if a and b are equal a is equals to b then this a is equals to b and a and b both are positive so the square root of a b that is square root of and a and b is equals to a so putting b is equals to a we get square root of a b is equals to square root of a b means square root of a into a a square square root of a square is a so we get square root of a into b of here a is equals to b so square root of a into a is equals to a also also if we find the 1 by 2 times a plus b but b is equals to a so a plus a so a plus a is 2a upon a is equals to sorry 2a upon 2 then is equals to a so this is suppose equation number 1 equation number 2 therefore from equation 1 and 2 we get square root of a b is equals to 1 by 2 times a plus b here b is equals to a so thus from equation 1 and 2 therefore from equations 1 and 2 we get square root of a b is equals to that is square root of a into a is equals to square 1 by 2 times a plus a that is square root of a b is equals to 1 by 2 times a plus b for a is equals to b so here our first case was a not equals to b then square root of a b is less strictly less than 1 by 2 times a plus b and in the second case the case of a is equals to b we get we get square root of a b is equals to 1 by 2 times a plus b thus we get the final result as square root of a b is less than or equals to less than whenever a not equals to b and equals to whenever a is equals to b less than or equals to 1 by 2 times a plus b hence this result is true that is the equation is true so this square root of a b is <coughs> geometric root and 1 by 2 times a plus b is arithmetic root and this equation or this inequality is called arithmetic geometric mean this inequality so we will try to note the above inequality is called the above inequality is called this a plus b by 2 is arithmetic mean and square root of a b is geometric mean so this is called arithmetic geometric mean arithmetic geometric mean now the next is Bernoulli's inequality Bernoulli's 
inequality bernoulli's inequality the bernoulli's inequality is stated as or the statement of the bernoulli's inequality is we will take that inequality as example so if x is strictly greater than minus 1 then prove that then prove that 1 plus x raised to n is greater than or equals to 1 plus nx 1 plus nx for all n belongs to set of natural numbers x greater than minus 1 then prove that 1 plus x raised to n is greater than or equals to 1 plus nx for all n belongs to set of natural numbers so this is the bernoulli inequality for x greater than minus 1 One plus x raised to n is greater than or equals to one plus n x. This is Bernoulli's inequality. So to prove this result, we will use the mathematical induction. So in the solution or the proof of this result, our claim is claim is that we have to prove. Our claim is or we have to prove that this one plus x raised to n is greater than or equals to one plus n x. One plus n x for all n belongs to set of natural number this is our claim to prove this we will use to prove this we will use the principle of mathematical induction mathematical induction on n mathematical induction on n this n so the first case of mathematical induction the step first step of mathematical induction is for n is equals to 1 if n is equals to 1 then we get 1 plus x to the power n is equals to 1 is greater than or equals to 1 plus x because 1 plus x is equals to 1 plus x so we can write 1 plus x is greater than or equals to 1 plus x so our result is true for n is equals to 1 therefore result here 1 plus x is equals to 1 plus x so we can write 1 plus x is greater than or equals to greater than or equals to means either greater than or equals to here 1 plus x is greater than sorry is equals to 1 plus x so our result is 1 plus x raised to n is greater than 1 greater than or equals to 1 plus nx so here n is equals to 1 so we can write 1 plus x raised to n is equals to 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 into x 1 into x is x so result is true for n is equals to 1 now in the second step we suppose the result is true for suppose or assume that result is true for n is equals to k that is the result is true for n is equals to k means for k result holds that is 1 plus x to the power k is greater than or equals to 1 plus k x for all this k belongs to set of natural numbers in the second step we consider this and now in the second third step we have to prove that result is true for to we have to prove that result is true for n is equals to k plus 1 result is true for n is equals to k plus 1 that is we have to prove that 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 is greater than or equals to 1 plus k plus 1 times x so we will consider the left hand side so consider now we will consider left hand side means 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 so 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 can be written as 1 plus x to the power k into 1 plus x so here the same number so multiplication gives the power k plus 1 so 1 plus x to the power k into 1 plus x so by second step we have this 1 plus x to the power k is greater than or equals to 1 plus k x into this 1 plus x as it is this is by step second by using step second Se step second says that result is true for 
x n is equals to k that is 1 plus x to the power k is greater than or equals to 1 plus k x. So, this 1 plus x to the power k is greater than or equals to 1 plus k x into this 1 plus x as it is. Now, this if we multiply this then we get this is equals to 1 plus 1 into x is x plus k x into 1 is k x plus k x into x is k x square this again taking here x common we get is equals to 1 plus if you take the x common then we get k plus 1. So, k plus 1 times x taking x common plus k x square. Now, we wanted to prove that 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 is greater than or equals to 1 plus k plus 1 times x. So, in this step we can clearly say that 1 plus k plus 1 times x plus this term is equal to this. So, our 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 is greater than or equals to this 1 plus k plus 1 times x this greater than equal greater than sign because we can clearly say that 1 plus k plus 1 times x plus k x square that is we have to add this k x square in this term to get this step. We have to add k x square in the last term to get this term. So, this implies that 1 plus k k plus 1 times x is less than this whole step. We are writing this greater than or equals to sign because this is this 1 plus k plus 1 times x plus k x square is greater because we are just subtracting k x square from this. In the second last step, if we subtract k x square, then we get this 1 plus k plus 1 times x. We have to subtract this term from this whole second last step. So, after subtracting this k x square, we get this. So, our this term this 1 plus k plus 1 times x plus k x square is obviously greater than this term. So, this is greater than or equals to. Thus, we get 1 plus x to the power k plus 1 is greater than or equals to 1 plus k plus 1 times x. Hence, the result is true for k plus 1. Hence, result is true for n is equals to k plus 1. Therefore, by principle of mathematical induction, by principle of mathematical induction, result is true for all n. Result is true for all n belongs to set of natural numbers. Hence, hence 1 plus x to the power n is greater than or equals to 1 plus n x for all n belongs to natural numbers. Hence, the proof of Bernoulli's inequality. Hence, the proof of Bernoulli's inequality.